Now let's look at an example. All right. Um, so if I said I want to work out, um, let's say I had a right triangle triangle in the first quadrant, and this was four, and this was eight. I need to work out this angle here. Okay. So which function would you choose? Um, because it's the opposite and the adjacent, you would have to use tan. So tan theta will be equal to 4 divided by 5, 4 divided by 8, um, which is a half. So tan theta is equal to half. So tan inverse half would be 26.6 degrees. All right, so that's easy enough. That's what you've done in GCSE as well. All right, now let's look at um, an angle which is obtuse. All right, now what does that word mean? Okay, you've got to go back to your GCSEs now. Obtuse is an angle that is between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. All right, that's an obtuse angle. So that would be in the second quadrant. All right, so I'll create an obtuse angle. Now, um, so I call this angle 120 degrees. All right, so that's 120 degrees. Um, and again, I'll draw the same triangle here. And now what you're going to do is work out the acute horiz acute angle um, that it makes with the horizontal. Okay, the acute angle that it makes with the horizontal. All right. So the acute angle that it makes with the horizontal is 60 degrees, isn't it? All right. So if you said um, 120, it's same as saying 60 degrees in this quadrant here. That's why it's a second quadrant angle. All right. So that 60 degrees is similar to a triangle drawn in the first quadrant. All right. So the angle, so the triangle uh, that you find there in the second quadrant would have the same dimensions as this. Okay. All right. Um, so if I were to work out sine 60 here, that would have the same result here for this this angle here. And that would be same as saying sine 120. Okay, because that's how it works. The um, acute angle that is made with the horizontal is always equivalent to the bigger angle. All right, so what I'm saying is this. So if I said sine 60, many of you know what sine 60 is. This is about 0 0.866. is same as sine 120. Okay. Because the acute angle equivalent that is made with the horizontal, okay, is similar to, is, is 60. All right. So that is similar to that obtuse angle. So the acute angle equivalent made with the horizontal is equal to this angle 120. All right. And what about the sign? We've uh, we figured out that in the second quadrant, sine is positive. All right. So therefore, this would also be positive. All right. Sine 20 would also be well, sine 120 would also be positive. All right. Now let's look at another angle, um, an angle that falls in the third quadrant. So that that will be 180 to 270. Um, it's not reflex. This alone is not reflex. Reflex is 180 to 360, so I can't call it a reflex angle. Um, so yeah, so it's 180 to 270. So if I were to draw, um, let's say an angle that falls in there. Now, I'd say that is 240 degrees. All right. Now, that is 240 degrees. The angle that it makes with the horizontal, the acute angle equivalent that is made with the horizontal would be 60 degrees, wouldn't it? If that is 240, because all of that is 180, that would be 60, isn't it? So in fact, it has the same dimensions as this, all right? So the sine ratio for this and this would be the same, all right? It would be the same. So if I said sine 240, so that is equivalent to sine 60, so sine 60 is 0 0.866 um, recurring um, is 0 0.866 as well. Sine 240 is also 0 0.866. But because it's in the third quadrant and in the third quadrant, 
sine is not positive it's only tan that is positive all right it's because the the triangle drawn there its opposite side would have a negative value there all right so therefore the angle drawn in the third quadrant would be negative all right um, it would give you a negative value for sine all right so therefore is negative 0 0.866 all right now we look at the other quadrant the other quadrant is the fourth quadrant and I'll figure out an angle in the fourth quadrant so I'll say that is 300 degrees so that's all the way here all right again let's look at the equivalent acute angle drawn um, to the horizontal line okay so that's this angle isn't it so I say this is 300 this angle should be 60 degrees all right again it's the same dimensions okay if you drew a right angle with one of the angles being 60 degrees it would have the same dimensions as a right angle drawn anywhere in any of the other quadrants okay so this would have the same dimensions as this triangle here all right so again sine 300 would be equal to sine 60 all right but the only difference is again here sine 60 would be 0 0.866 but sine 300 would be negative 0 0.866 all right you could try these uh, things out on your calculator all right um, you could just type in sine 300 and work out what the ratio is all right now um, it's easy sometimes to see what the acute angle equivalent is that is made with the horizontal if you're given an awkward angle so if I say um, 248 so you would draw this so the acute angle equivalent would be that's 180 so this should be 68 all right so you could do that um, to figure out the acute angle equivalent all right um, so if I say 150 again you would draw it here so that you surpass 90 so this is a 30 so this should be this, should, this is 60 so this should be 30 degrees okay all right now even for those there are some rules you could memorize so that it makes it easier for you to work out the acute angle equivalent um, if you're trying to figure out the acute angle equivalent of a second quadrant angle what you do is you um, sorry that's not what I wanted to say um, so if you're given an acute angle so let's say you were given um, 40 degrees and you were to work out the second quadrant equivalent of that so all you got to do is do 180 minus theta so 180 minus 40 so the second quadrant equivalent would be 140 all right and the third quadrant equivalent would be 180 plus theta 180 plus 40 so that's 220 so you would have come up to 180 here so the list the remaining bit is a 40 degrees and the th fourth quadrant equivalent would be 360 minus theta all right so that's 320 you would have come up to 270 degrees here sorry that's 310 you would have come up to 70 degrees here um i beg your pardon no that's 320 Yeah, that's 320 you would have come up to 70 degrees here you would have had um 50 degrees more to complete 320 and the acute angle that is made with the horizontal line there is 40 degrees okay so these are the ways you could figure out the um equivalence of the acute angle in any of the other three quadrants all right okay but um you'd find these useful in the exercises that you'll be doing later but for now what you've been asked to do is this you've been actually given an angle which is not an acute angle so you've been given something like that's like I don't know 115 degrees and you're asked to work out the equivalent acute angle so you already got 115 and you have to work out what theta is so you just rearrange the equation and you get theta to be um, 65 degrees so let's try another angle in a different quadrant so let's say that is equal to what can we call that you could call that um, 310 all right so 
the rules to work out the acute angle equivalent which is theta there is this but this is how you work out 310 if you are given theta so therefore I'm going to say 360 minus theta is equal to 310 so therefore theta should be equal to 50 degrees all right now let's look at a question that you may be asked to do let's say um, just a moment please let's say tan theta tan theta is equal to um, 0 0.7 all right tan theta is equal to 0 0.7 and theta could be anywhere between 0 to 360 all right right so most of you would have done this you would have just pressed tan inverse of 0 0.7 and you would have got the answer all right so let me see what that is which is approximately 35 degrees that's easy enough what you figure out here is only the first quadrant angle okay but they've said theta could be anywhere between 0 to 360 so you only figure out the first quadrant angle which is 35 degrees all right you know very well that um, tan is positive in the third quadrant okay so therefore the ratio is only positive you could work out the ratio of tan in this quadrant of an angle in this quadrant but that would be negative and in this quadrant also it would be negative so you've got to figure out an angle that is equal to 35 in the third quadrant and what were the rules again there's 180 plus theta to work out the equivalent angle in the third quadrant so 180 plus theta which is 35 is 215 so 215 tan 215 would also give you a ratio of 0 0.7 try it yourself okay so tan theta could be also equal to 215 and that's the complete answer for this question 0 point, uh, 35 degrees alone wouldn't have got you the full marks you need to work out this angle as well because they've said theta could be anywhere between 0 to 360 all right um, I've really tried my best to pack in as much as I can in this short space um, I hope you found this helpful um, let me do a quick recap though um, so we first figured out how comes um, in these quadrants these functions are positive and all the others are negative all right and uh, we've also figured out how to f uh, how to work out the equivalent angles when you're given the acute angle only all right equivalent angles in the other quadrants so when you're given um, the acute angle so here it was 40 if you were to work out the angles equivalent angles in the other quadrant this is what you do okay for the first you do 180 minus theta the second you do this uh, sorry the second you do this the third you do this and the fourth you do this all right um, now let me